Hey, it's Raktar, and I'm starting another episode of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. In the last episode, I herded some goats, and I met Zelda, I met my horse, and really, I didn't do anything other than that. So now I'm back in a village, I don't even want to say the name of it, because I don't know the name of it, I admit. And all the kids are ready to play, waking up good old Riggedy Raktar, a.k.a. Link of the future, and he's- oh, look, see? They even make it realistic, so he- they, like, show that he's looking out the window at the kids. So you don't think that he's... not looking out the window? Oh, look, you can- <gasps> Here's a bird! In mountain, and kids! Alright, great, I don't even care about this. Dude, I totally hit B to go back, even though the prompt said, A, I am a dirty cheater. I'm almost 100% sure that while I'm in the house, even though, like I said, I don't know anything about this game, for some reason I remember Link possibly has, like, a secret chest hidden in his basement of his house. And also, if I remember correctly, his basement is, like, dark and scary. And you can come down down here with your lamp later, but I think you can get the chest while it's dark if you're a dipshit. Oh, but I'm obviously not a dipshit. If you have the location of the chest memorized, you can totally get it. But there's straight up, if you come back here with your oil lantern later, Totally straight up a chest in Link's basement, but right now, it's too scary to handle. I don't even know why he would make his basement so dark and scary, and I don't know why Link can't just, like... You hear the sound of torches, why can't he just bring down a torch? Or maybe that's just the sound of his fire being on fire, because that is often when you find fires. Oftentimes the condition that they're in is on fire, but let us chat with the children who are ready to play with their older and cooler friend, obviously, Link. Oh, and my horse is here. Now let's talk to this kid. Hi, Raktar. You have day off work today, right? So I finished fishing rod I was making. Raktar, I figured I'd give it to you the first thing in the morning, but my dad said, you just wait until Raktar comes to get it, so I didn't bring it to you. <gasps> Your dad's a dick! Actually, I think her dad or his dad... I think... I don't want to assign a gender to this character. That's not fair of me to assign a gender to a character without their permission. So, ooh, there was a... Wait, what was in that grass? Whatever. And can I get on my horse? Oh, I totally can. Oh. Don't you react her. You have to give Epona a day off too, poor girl. Oh, all right. Whatever. Let's talk to these kids. These are the ones that wanted me to come out and play. Did you hear? They're selling a slingshot at a store right now. A slingshot! I need as powerful it is. I need I must try it. Taylor, if you and Melo want so badly, just buy, just buy it at my parents' shop. Dude, why would- these are like little tiny kids, they don't have enough money to buy a slingshot. Look, they're even saying it themselves. They themselves are like pointing out the tininess of childhood, which they're experiencing that causes them to be as poor as poor people can ever be. And look, they put a gate between Raktar and the village, they don't want Raktar to get into the village at night because they don't trust him. Actually, this might not be- it is the village! They totally like- they close that gate at night and lock it, I bet. Because they know that Raktar becomes a wolf! That's actually not- I mean, he does become a wolf, but... Not for- not because he's a werewolf. The wife's been hazeling me today! I thought that was a woman, I guess, I, after reading the text and looking at his mustache... I realized that... This guy is actually a dude. And he needs- okay, our cat hasn't come home since yesterday, so the wife's in a bad mood at the very least. I need to bring us something home to her. Alright, so... A few things I need to do. A. Side quests. We can get... we can get this... bee's nest out, probably. Probably with a slingshot. And something about a cat. I remember how to do both those things, actually. Because they're fairly simple, self-explanatory things. Let's talk to everybody, see if we can get any more qu Talk to me! Speak to me, woman! Um, good morning to you. If you're looking for my husband, he took his sword and left early this morning. Ooh, but I must ask, Raktar. You've not seen a cradle some floating by here, have you? It is a baby's cradle, made of finely woven tree bark. Oh, such a misfortune. How far could it have drifted? I wonder. Well, which way does the river run? Okay, so the river runs this way. I can probably dive! Yep. Of course, it's a Zelda game. I can swim. And, well, unless it's... Wind Waker. Although, Wind Waker, I will give Wind Waker sort of the benefit of the doubt. They had to design Wind Waker in such a- Oh yeah, the monkey has the cradle, and the monkey is not just gonna give me that shit, obviously, like... Monkeys are serious about stopping you from getting cradles. I think I have to slingshot- Dude, all your problems in this game get solved by violence. This is the world George W. Bush dreamed of. I can't let this happen, but 
It's really the way it's gonna happen. So I guess I gotta get enough moolah. I gotta get enough of the roopsters to get a slingshot right now, which is either going to involve me talking to... I think I gotta go talk to the mayor. This game is so unclear right at the beginning. They don't tell you... Oh, well, I gotta talk to the mayor because he'll have the fishing rod. Let's uh, see here. Russell, Uli, and Colin's house. Are Russell, Uli, and Colin? They're definitely not the mayor. In fact, I'm just walking into people's houses like old Link always likes to do. Probably gonna steal some of their shit. Nope, because there's no shit to steal here. Well, they said they were poor, so... It's not surprising that since they said they were poor, that of course they actually Colin. Oh, Colin's the little uh, transgender child that was talking to my horse, I think. And so I guess Colin is traditionally a boy's name, but you know, Colin could still be a girl, and I don't want to assign a gender to him. He could be whatever gender he wants to be when he grows up. Let's talk to the mayor, though. This is definitely the mayor. Morning, Raktar. Sounds like Fado is handling things at the ranch on his own today. When he's up there alone, I always figure some calamity or other's gonna happen. Oh, yep, and here we go. And I gotta do this, I don't even know how to do it. We gotta stop the goat. Alright. Oh, oh, no, 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 oh, sh oh, you gotta hit A. I'm gonna let all the goats go. You have to do this until you get it. The town's precious livestock, that's why I'm uneasy about leaving a fade. Let's see here, if you plant your- yeah, yeah. Plant my feet. Hit A. We gotta do that until it works, because if I do it, he's gonna give me- This guy is so bad with the goats. Yeah, if you do it, I'm pretty sure this dude is gonna give you the fishing pole. Oh, 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 I hit no, I hit A. I guess I didn't hit A soon enough. This is pretty embarrassing right now. Yeah, I know. Oh, holding down A. What a great suggestion. All right, whatever, Fado, let the goat out already so I can catch it. Well, I mean, don't let the goat out. You gotta at least try and make an effort to stop it. Also, dude, all right. Oh, yeah, holy shit. Linky's a beast! Did you see the way he wrestled that fucking goat to the ground? These goats have been awful skittish lately. You always gotta be on your toes. Sorry about that, Raktar, but thanks to you, that goat didn't get away. That Fado looks like he'll be garnishing the cost of that goat from his wages. Well, he'll be garnishing the cost of the two goats I lost. Goats are getting loose, the monkey's causing trouble. Uh, you've heard him, right? Those monkeys, apparently they've been coming into the village lately. If you see him causing any trouble, will you teach him a lesson for me? Yeah, if you give me my goddamn fishing pole, you son of a bitch! Seriously, I thought that guy was gonna give me a fishing pole. Mm -hmm. Hey, did you need Leela for something? Sorry, Sonny, but I was told that if you came by today, I wasn't to let you inside. She's locked herself in a room, working like crazy on something or other. Oh, Leela, I guess, is the girl that I was calling Zelda, maybe? Or it's some somebody else. I don't know. I thought I was gonna get a fishing pole. That's all I can tell you right now, is I totally thought I was gonna get a fishing pole. Also, I'm wondering what Link's age is right now. Because he seems awfully young to just be kind of like living in a house alone like he is. Let's okay, so obviously none of my leads are panning out right now, so I should probably head to the shop, talk to the shop owner about slingshots, because it definitely seems as though the the solution to most of life's problems at the moment is going to be slingshot related. So ooh, ooh. You are an adorable, earless dog. Oh. I guess they just didn't have enough polygons to animate all the ears. Ah! Oh, I can't throw it. Damn it. Hi, Rekt. Uh, welcome. If you're looking for my hubby, he took a break from working and went outside. I wouldn't be surprised if he's taking a nap somewhere. He's in the middle of making a shield for Colin's dad. See it right over there. Though it looks like it's uh, far from being done. Sorry, I came all this way to find him out and about. I wonder if I can steal that shield. That's a horrible mentality that I have. Like, the first thing I do when I come into somebody's house. And how does he work up there? He has, how does, dude. He must be, her husband must be one fucking hell of a jumper. If he can get up there, willy, all willy nilly, no questions asked, to work on his goddamn shield. He is a fantastic jumping dude. That's all I gotta say. Oh, there's the cat. Although I can't see, you can't just catch the cat. The cat will always get away from you. And that's why you need the fishing pole, because you can use the fishing pole to catch a fish. And then, ooh, I wanna talk to you. All right, um, oh, there we go, cool. There you go, over here. Yeah, your voice carries as well as usual. Maybe you can teach my tykes that you gotta press A, L, T, uh, shock me from a distance. So listen, why don't you try to clip up those vines there, Reactor? Alright. 
Well, I guess I should just try and do everything the game tells me right now until I figure out what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing. All right, cool. There you are. Check this out. You know Sarah at the general store? Well, isn't that a cat over there? He's just been sitting there next to my house having a stare contest with the creek. You don't suppose he's thinking he's going to catch a fish, do ya? Cats can't catch no fish. Anyway, that's not what I was meaning to I want you to look at something. See that grass over there at the edge of that rock? Haven't I seen you whistling with that stuff? I figured it was pretty rare to see it growing in a place like that, so I thought I'd let you know. I bet you could hop across those rocks with a little tap on your forward stick there now, couldn't you? Yep, because this is a Zelda game. It is very A-less, or it is very jumpless. Oh, and now I know what I'm supposed to do. I thought, you see, I did believe that I was supposed to use a slingshot to shoot that monkey, but now it's all clear to me. I think I can control birds in this game? Oh, I totally can. Link is a fantastic falconer, and if we can properly aim this at that dang-ass monkey. All right, so far away. Let's do it. Is that good enough to catch? Oh, no, okay, so we gotta get out. There is a grass, totally a grass, closer to that monkey. Yep, we gotta use this grass. Falcon, Falcor, let me summon you once more to be my dragon of justice. Let me sail on your wings of glory to infinity extreme, where you're gonna teach that damn monkey a lesson. I hope you peck his fucking eyes out. You know, actually, spoiler alert, those monkeys are the victim somewhat in this game at this point. They're only, they're just trying to get the attention of Humes because they know that Humes will solve their problems. All right, clearly this has gotta be close enough, right? Yeah! Oh, I got the cradle! And now is it gonna give it to me? Oh, it totally is. Cool. Alright, lady. Whoever you are. Lady, whoever you are, I'm coming back and I've got your baby's cradle. Oh, no! Oh, shit! Shitting dick Oh, okay, you can... Whew. What do you do now, though? I guess I gotta... push the cradle in the water? This is bad. I wasn't supposed to fall. God damn it. Here we go. Uh, get up on land. Grab the cradle out of the water. There we go. Okay, I was a little worried that that was not going to work. All right, lady with the baby. You may have popped out one too many, but I'm still gonna solve your problems. I'm a very friendly young man who's willing to solve your problems even though I have no obligation to you or the people of this town. Do you think you'd carry that cradle and come with me back to, oh my gosh. And she's gonna walk all slow like a pregnant woman. Walk fiesta. Oh, you better, oh. Pregnant women, am I right? They just walk to their house at whatever goddamn pace they want. I'm just kidding, if there's any pregnant women watching this right now, I don't have any ill will or ill feelings towards pregnant women or walls or anything else. But seriously though, this woman in particular needs to be walking a lot faster to her house right now. My thanks to you, Ragdar. Yes, yes, I had nearly forgotten. I'm supposed to give you this. It better be a fishing pool. <gasps> it is a fishing pool! Well, it's a fishing rod. I mean, they're basically the same thing. All right, but I'll catch a large variety of fish with it. Let's see here. It is a little unpolished. My son Colin made this under the instruction of his father. You can use it if you like. All right, time to go to my first... Wait, what, what, what? Can I not... How do I switch which screen I'm on? Oh, up. This game has the weird radial thing. Um, and the reason it has the weird radial thing... Well, I don't know, I feel like that was one of the features that actually belongs in the Wii, and they use the weird radial thing in Skyward Sword now, too. But, I don't like the weird radial thing, especially in this game, since... This game, I don't think, is technically designed for the weird radial thing. Alright, fishing dock now. Let us try to catch a fish with all the grace oh I should probably go somewhere where I can see fish in the water because this yeah there's clearly no fish here the place where the cat is probably has fish I mean that's probably why the cat the cat is probably like looking at a fish cat are you looking at a fish and, and all right question one cat are you looking at a fish question two cat where are you oh there's fish I can totally you can, you could see them 
splish splashing around in the water right here for a second. Oh, yep, there they are. Fish. Perfect for old Linky Winky. And I don't even know, I should have read the instructions on how to fish before attempting it. Okay, so you just hold back on C once you get, okay. The game, you know what's funny, the game told me exactly what I need to do. And I just didn't do it. Wait, why? I thought the fish was supposed to stay on the rod, but it didn't. Alright, I think I've learned the secret, and the secret is that you have to actually catch a fish while you're standing next to the cat. And I think if you catch a fish while you're standing next to the cat, the cat will get interested in it. Yep. Or no, it won't get interested in it. It'll just catch it, and then it'll run the fuck off with your goddamn fish that you just caught. But hopefully it'll run home. Are you running home, cat? Because if you're not running home, I'm gonna wreck you. All right, cool. <gasps> there is a doggy door. What a reveal. What a great, useful fact for a human. Oh wait, Link is totally gonna become not a human, in case you didn't know that. All right, where did, what building did that cat run to? Oh, it ran to the house that the dude is in front of, obviously, because the dude still wants me to get that, um, bee's nest down, which I will, trust me, trust me, dude. I will get the- what? Do I have to crawl through the doggy door? Like a mere cat? I guess not, who knows. Well, let us go attack some bees. That seems like a really good idea. I usually find that when I am in a bind, the best thing I can do is attack bees. That usually makes my life better, not worse. Alright, look, we're fine. These bees don't even care. Oh, oh yeah. See? Oh yeah. These bees love me. These bees are my friends. Please, bees. I'm, I'm sorry. Will these bees not quit until I'm dead? Oh my gosh. Link, get out of here. Get to the water. Holy shit. Take cover, Link. Bees hate water. I heard that on Discovery Channel Network. Okay. Bees do apparently hate water, so... I think... I definitely did that with the wrong idea in mind. Maybe I need to summon a bird to do that, but... It's also crossed my mind that I can... Fish the nest. Nope, that doesn't make sense either. Alright, let's look up there. See what's going on really quickly. Yeah, I think I gotta shoot that down a slingshot. I think that's a guaranteed... Definitely 100% sure thing that I have to do is shoot that down with the slingshot. But actually, actually, what I also think is that I'm going to end this episode of Legend of Zelda, the thing of the thing right here. This has been Raktar. Thank you for watching.